you know, let's look inside. What's inside of this microphone? We're going to find out. Okay, we are now going to dismantle this Florian BM-800. Now, um, I was looking for a microphone, a studio microphone for my YouTube videos. I'm using a different microphone now. Um, I'm using an Audio Technica. Um, it's actually a vocal microphone. I don't have a pop filter on, on this, so I, I, I apologize in, ahead of time uh, in terms of uh, if there's any noises or whatever. Hopefully I'll be able to edit that out, that line. So anyway, this is pretty much how you, you get the microphone. There is a, a foam windscreen on it. So we'll take this off. Now, when you're looking at the microphone, you know, looking at it like this, it looks kind of nice. It's very pretty, very, very impressive looking, I should say. It's blue. It's got the gold ring here. You have this beautiful microphone look to it. But... I mean, it's got some weight to it. It looks pretty. Uh, and you think, oh, wow, it's probably because it looks, looks nice. It's got to perform nice. It performs okay, but we're going to look inside of it in just a moment. Okay, so first glance, when I, usually when you, with microphones, if you twist the, the, the top of the, uh, the microphone off, but that's not the case with this one. The bottom actually comes off. So you unscrew this like this, and this piece comes off. And this is the heaviest, this is pretty heavy, this, this piece, this, this ring. Put that aside. This part slides off. And then the gold ring slides off. Then you're left with the XLR connection, which is one piece, by the way, one big metal piece. The electronic circuit board, I guess, for the microphone that's inside of here. And we're going to find that out in, in two seconds now. So... It's, just only, it's only held on by two screws. So, we'll take this screw out. I, I've already did this already, and, and I was actually, <laughs> it says, oh my God, I have to, uh, I wonder what size diaphragm is in this microphone. And you're going to find out now. I don't even want to call it a diaphragm. There you go. <laughs> There's the microphone. That's it. So this is just a this monstrous shield, this big thing that doesn't even need to be this big, and, and it's only one it's one sided microphone. So as you're thinking you're talking into here, you're talking into the piece of plastic. <laughs> so this is a directional microphone. So let's say for argument's sake this was screwed in this way, you would have to literally face be talking into the microphone at this particular point. If you actually spun it around and spoke, you'd be speaking into the back of the microphone, and it would probably sound muffled. So, this is the inside of the Florian BM-800. Um, this is uh, actually a joke. Um, are you guys, cu I'm curious to see what this sounds like, uh, open like this. Um, you know what, we're going gonna, gonna to check it out right now. Okay, this is now connected. I can't imagine it sounding all that well. This is not much of a pickup, if you ask me. I have no idea how this is even sounding. Um, I'll come down really low. <laughs> That's hilarious. But you know what? Just look at the cheap wiring on the inside of this thing. You have... It's not even shielded. It's just like... It's, it's, uh, my wires are way too long. They can break off... Looks, it looks pretty wimpy as it is. This black wire looks really flimsy. The yellow wire is a little bit looks a little bit thicker. Soldering job is actually pathetic. Could be blobs of solder inside of here. If I can take some pictures of that I'll, I'll throw that on the video. But I'm I have and there's one little transistor here. Actually, that's the only above of you know off the board transistor. There are a couple of them here. There's actually one here, one here, one here. There's, there's four of them here. There's even a, looks like a, I can't tell, looks like an inductor. Hang on a second. I can't tell. 
that could be a fuse or something. I really I don't recognize the uh, the markings, either a fuse or an inductor or whatever. But these other th these other four are all transistors, a uh, bunch of caps, resistors, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the inside of the BM um, BM800. I'm going to disconnect this microphone and go back to my other one. All right, now we're back to the other one. So, uh, I mean, I don't even know if you want to call that a diaphragm. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's it. Let's break out a ruler. So if you want to measure it, it's uh, three quarters of an inch of a diaphragm or a microphone. It looks like it's just a thing stuck in a piece of plastic. I guess this is like an, like an additional shock mount, this plastic piece. Or <laughs> who the heck knows? <laughs> this is just hilarious. Well, you know what? What do you expect for, you know, for 20 bucks or whatever the heck it was or 15? I don't even remember what it was. I just bought it because someone said it was a good microphone. I says, oh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> I just, I mean, I have other ones, obviously. I'm using this one here that I'm talking on right now, but I was just curious. It seemed like it came with a nice, cool shock mount, so that's the reason why I, you know, I bought it. Hey, what the heck, you know? You got to try, you got to try it somehow. So this is the inside. You know what? Let's, let's go a little further. I'm sure you're probably curious. Let's see if I take these, these additional two screws off. What's on the other side? Find anything special? Ah, two caps. This is the filtering. So this could very well require phantom power. It just works without it. Because why would it need... Because a regular microphone wouldn't need... It would need, and this other board here, this this other board is nothing. It's a piece, it's just a blank. <laughs> oh my God. This doesn't even have to be here. What is this, a backup? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. This is just in case if you want to build your own microphone, you'll have a spare board. Oh my God, this is hilarious. There's nothing on here at all. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's the exact identical board as this one right here <laughs> with no parts on it. Now, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. It shows you the two locations where the caps would go. Seven mic uh, 47 microfarad, 50 volt, and then 22 microfarad at 50 volt. Oh, that's hilarious. This board's actually pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting it. This has got some, you know... What a waste. They added more shipping to this without realizing that this extra board on <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So this is hilarious. <laughs> so let's put this, um, what do we call it, um, in layman's terms, um, POS. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I'm even a, you know what, maybe I'll put that board back on. That is so funny. <clears throat> I do have a um, a phantom power mixer, but you know what? I'm actually afraid to pump 48 volts into this thing. I think it'll probably explode. With the little um, audio manipulation in my program, I could uh, make the sound sound a little bit better with the uh, using this microphone. Not the one I'm using, the one I'm holding in my hand, if you want to call it a microphone. <laughs> That's just funny. So, so in theory, it is a directional microphone because the diaphragm is only facing one direction. And uh, it sounds like poop in, in the opposite direction, which makes sense. So I should just, you know what I should do? I should put a little marking... Actually, actually, if you look carefully, you could see in there the reflection. So I should some, put some like black marks on the front of this, or so a little dot, knowing that that's the that's where the actual condenser microphone is pointing. That is just, I mean, I, I I'm sorry, but that's I find that very funny. 
All right, so we got it all back together again so far. We put the ring on first. Then we put this on. There we go. Put the ring back on. And we put the POS back together again. And that's that. That's the inside of the Florian BM800. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. My recommendation is not to buy this. <laughs> it looks cool. That's about it. <laughs>